holidays always bring plenty of parties and desserts. And here now is celebrity event designer Larry Abel, the creative genius who designs elaborate Hollywood events like the Grammys and the Emmys for more than 20 years. Welcome, Larry. Hi, how are you? I'm great. It's great to have you. I did some event planning myself out in California, and it is a task. It is. It is. But it's fun. It's a lot of fun. But you have to impress people who are not easily impressed. Well, you do. And uh, you just have to find unique and creative ways to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, where do you get your inspiration in designing these elaborate events? You know, my inspiration usually comes initially from the place where we're going to have the event. And I try to find something every day and try to make it extraordinary because mm -hmm. I think that that is where it kind of catches people's ideas and kind of catches their fancy. And, you know, something you can do in your own home is uh, for the holidays. We all have votives around our, our, our houses and candles. Sure. Bring them all together on the center table. Put 20 or 30 candles on the table around your desserts. It creates something festive. It's flickering. It's light and it's bright. And people love it when they walk in. What a good idea. And so would you recommend doing different colors based on the holiday? Like for, for Christmas, obviously, we see the green. Would you do different, different colors and mix and match a little bit? Yeah, I think it's really fun if you just do a collage of colors. Uh, you mm. can do colors that maybe match your home. You can do some in red, green, and white or, or blues. It, it, just be creative with it because it really looks great. So creativity is key. Now, for the average person that is hosting these parties for their family and friends this holiday season, beyond the votives and that kind of decor, what other things would make it feel like an elaborate person like yourself would have put this together? Well, one of my favorites this year is these brownies, uh, mm. these chewy fudge brownies that we've done. But we've taken a candy cane cookie cutter and cut them out, taken some Duncan Hines Amazing Glaze and put on the top, and then sprinkled some crushed peppermint on top. Yum. So it's, as opposed to the traditional square brownie, you've got these little candy cane brownies. But one other thing to do to make it feel really special is take the ingredients from some of your desserts and use that as part of your decor. Oh, like wow. these candy canes that we've done as towers down the center. So you're telling a story. You've got these peppermints, and then you've got these little peppermint-shaped brownies. It really, really makes a great statement. And it's simple, and it's easy to do. I love and it. And you can also take... Yeah, and you can also take that glaze and you can put it on a single layer cake. You mm -hmm. do a little white stripe with vanilla glaze and take something sharp and just drag it back and forth across the top of the cake like that. And before you know it, you've kind of got this Napoleon pattern on top that looks like you hired a baker to do it. And really, <laughs> you just did it yourself in a few seconds. It does look very, very complicated, simple. but it's really easy really easy and your guests will go nuts over it. And you know what I also really like about both of those ideas is that it's not expensive. No, it's not expensive at all. and it, It's really, really great. And uh, it's just those are the kind of things that, that catch people's eyes and they'll talk about. Well, I have another question because a lot of the time we talk about people having these parties, people get very stressed out because they're in the kitchen the whole time or they're constantly cleaning up or cooking. What do we suggest to people who are hosting a party to give them the opportunity to enjoy their own party, be a guest at their own party? Well, I think there's a couple of things. We do get stressed out because of all the, the prep work ahead of time. So do things that are simple and still give your guests something they enjoy. We all love red velvet cake for the holidays. Sure. But we all make it from scratch, and that can be really stressful. Duncan <laughs> Hines has the only cake mix to make red velvet cake, <gasps> and I love it. So you mm. can make this red velvet cake. You can take this uh, cherry pie filling and put on it with the whipped cream. It's simple. You can make it ahead of time. Put some fresh cherries around it again to accent the, the, the ingredients. You have that ready to bring out right before your guests come. You have time for eggnog before they show up, and you can relax and enjoy it. Larry, you're making me starving. But I'm so hungry now. <laughs> that looks fabulous. So that's, see, that's so easy. When I think of red velvet cake, I do. I think you have to bring in a caterer, you have to bring in a baker, or you have to really work hard for hours at a time. So that's good to know. I didn't realize Duncan Hines did that. That's great. Yeah, very simple. So where can we go to get more recipes and more information for what you do and really give us some of these tips along the way? Well, for some of these great recipes you can, and more, you can go to DuncanHines.com. And okay. for some of the display ideas and these things, you can go to my website at ShopASIOnline.com. Fabulous. And uh, do you have any, any big plans coming up for the upcoming awards season? Are you prepping for any big parties? Oh, we are. We're going to be working again at, at Sundance and at the Globes and at all the different events. So we're getting excited and getting ready. Fabulous. Well, I wish you lots of luck. And we really appreciate you being here with us this holiday season, Larry. Thank you.